Hey, good morning guys. Today we're going to talk about how to set a peak limiter in Reaper if you're going to be recording live. And if you're just new to podcasting, you can do this as well. There's two things you never want to do in audio. Okay? And that is to, number one, go above zero dB. And the second thing is, you never want to go above zero dB, okay? Uh, they refer to it as clipping, spiking, peaking, and it just, it, it destroys your audio. And what it does, it causes distortion. Now, most digital recorders will come with what they call a safe mode. Now, if you look at the task cam right up here, you'll see where it says dual. And what that is, whatever you set your input levels to, or recording, and that's down here, these are your input levels. When you apply it in safe mode as well, and you guys have always heard me say, you know, between the negative 6 and the negative 12 is your optimum range for your input levels. But what they will do is they will add an additional 12 dBs to that. Okay? And when I say add, technically it's subtracting. So in other words, if you're coming in at a negative 8, in the dual mode, it's going to record that at a negative 20. Okay? And that's what it is. It's just a safe mode. And that way you will not go over there and clip or peak your audio. Now, let's go ahead and go over to Reaper. And we're going to go ahead and just start a track here. Now, I want to show you that I am coming in with my uh, Alias Multi-Mix 8, and that's the setup for it here. Okay, it gives me two input tracks, which is going to be stereo. So, we're going to click that. Now, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to arm this. And you can see now that it's coming in through my microphone, and I'm using the ATR2100 as an example. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is come over here and I'm going to bring up a FX meter, or I, uh, which is uh, the, it's a summed meter. And I'm simply going to go to recently used. Uh, bum, bum, bum. There we go. And I'm going to pull this over. Now, as you can see, nothing's happening with this meter right now. So I'm going to come back over to where I armed the track. I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to say monitor input. Okay, and you can see now it's going to activate and show me where I'm coming in. Now I'm simply going to come over to the Alias Multi Mix 8 and I'm going to adjust my gain. Now, like I said, normally I want to be in between that negative 6 and negative 12. So I'm just barely turning my gain control on my mixer and now I'm in that range. Okay, but for this particular example, we're going to use the safe mode process. So now I'm going to back off of my gain quite a bit. And I'm going to start speaking until I come in to that negative 12 to negative 18. And I'd rather be closer to the negative 18 than the negative 12. Okay. And this is going to put me in a safe mode, just like on the digital recorder. Now, the second FX I'm going to use, we can go ahead and get rid of the meter is I'm going to come up here and we're going to go to JS and we're going to type in limiter. Watch what happens. See, I just start typing in a few and now these are all the limiters that come with Reaper. And they all have a specific job. So what I'm going to use right here is I'm going to use the fairly childish stereo compressor limiter. Okay? Now, there's no preset on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm automatically going to set it to a negative six. And if I can't get right there, I simply highlight it, type in the zero, and then click off of it. Okay. So what this is going to do, this is going to set a limiter as well as a compressor if I start to get past that negative six input. Now, I've taken the time to set it up the way that I want it. Everything else can stay here. We don't want any makeup gain. 
I'm going to click the little plus sign. And I'm going to click Save This Preset. And I'm going to name it Dana. And then I'm simply going to click OK. Now, when I use this, I want this to come up all the time because I've already got it set for a specific task. OK, so what do I do now? Now I click that same little cross or plus sign and I click Save Preset as default. So now, regardless, anytime I bring this up, it's going to come right here. And this is what I want. Now, if you see over here, my input's still a little bit hotter than I want it. Okay. Now we can click off this and we can check it. Here it's coming into the negative, it shows a negative 15.6. Let's just clear our meters here. We want just, you know, we want to give it an average. And there we go, 15.2, 15.2. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of right in the middle of that range. So this is what's going to happen. It's going to limit anything that comes close to this negative six. Once it comes down to a negative five, it's going to start compressing that signal. Okay. You have to remember, guys, we're going live. You know, we're, we're in, a, an, in an arena or we're in a church setting or, or we're somewhere to where you, you, you're, you're betting on Murphy's Law and the unexpected. You never know what's going to happen. Now, this one channel, you know, visualize this being eight or nine tracks out through here. This would be the exact same setup. So even though you've already done your sound checks, and even though you've already went through that process, you know, if that guitar player gets up there and just starts shredding a certain chord and goes much louder, there's no way you can catch that in time as a sound man or somebody working the mixer or soundboard. Okay, and that's what this is for. Now, if you're just starting in podcasting and you, you can't stay within those limits, 90% of this is going to come down to proper mic technique. Okay, so this is a safe mode. This is a safeguard. So once we get over that level, then it's going to start compressing. So we're coming in at a negative 15. Our, our threshold is a negative 6. But truly, that threshold goes all the way down to a negative zero. Okay? Anything past that zero, and you will start to clip, or spike, or peak. And what we want to make sure is, that does not happen, ever. Okay? So let's go ahead and just do some recording here. And we'll just watch the waveform up here as we start to come in. And now let's say that somebody gets up there and that lead singer, you know, Ozzy or, um, you know, I can't say their last name or Alice, you know, these are the boys back in the day that would just eat those microphones. Okay. So now I'm going here and everything's looking fine, but watch these meters now as I start getting on this microphone and all I'm simply going to do is move in closer and I'm going to raise my voice a little bit. Now it's three o'clock in the morning here and I really can't go too loud, but you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. So if I come in here like this now and I just see, and you can see it's peaking over here on this meter, you can see it's peaking here, but yet over here, it is not peaking. Look at the waveform. Okay. And that's what the waveform would look like. And that's what this does. So let's go ahead and turn this off now. And we're going to watch the waveform, and we're going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to clear this meter here, and it doesn't matter. They're not going to show up. But now if I come in here and start cranking on this microphone, I can get it up here and just start peeking and peek, 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 peek. And see, now it starts clipping. Okay? Now every time that happens, I've just distorted that part of the audio. Okay? So if we put our FX back on, and we come back through, and we do the same thing, and we go peak, 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 you see, it doesn't even get anywhere close. All right? And that is how you set a peak limiter if you're going to be recording live using Reaper. God bless, take care, and we are out of here.